Philips Avent steamer. I use this steamer to steam olives feeding bottles. So today I'll explain you how I'll do it. It basically has three compartments. You can see the lower compartment, the middle compartment and the top compartment. I'll show you what these three are. So this is the lowest compartment that we have in the steamer. This has the electric supply as you can see that the cord is attached and this is the power button and in this particular tray you need to put water. It has to fill this compart this little tin, it shouldn't come over here. So very little water is used to steam your baby's feeding bottles. Now let's put some water in and see. Now let's pour some water in this. So now you can see that it has filled it. Now it's time to place the second container. Okay, so this is the second compartment. It has to have only BPA free plastic. There shouldn't be any other type of plastic except BPA. So if you can see inside, it has six holes like you can see this is hole number one two three four five and six so you can steam six bottles at a time so now let's place bottles in this before cleaning the bottles make sure you disassemble all the parts of the bottle so here goes your bottle this has changed its color because I kept uh, I think musk melon juice once and it has turned the bottle color into this color so uh, you have to have the bottle and you have to have separate the nipple you can see all the nipples are separated these are the caps you can see that the nipples are separated here and these are the collars of the bottles and these are the caps so all four parts have to be disassembled and then you have to place them in the steamer so now let's start placing these things in the steamer we have already washed our bottles so now I'm going to place it usually I like to put it upside down so that the steam goes directly inside the bottle so here goes bottle number one So if you can see that I've put four bottles and there's space for two more bottles also. Now we have placed our bottles. I remind you that these collars and the caps are also plastic that are BPA plastic. So you need to put it in the lower compartment. So now let's put these collars also into the lower compartment. I'll carefully place the collars over here. You can just adjust the places. I usually make sure uh, that each one has the steam in a proper way. Apart from that, you can now place the caps anywhere you want. Okay, in this way, I adjust my lower compartment. Now let's place the top compartment. Okay. So now in this top one, we need to put only the silicon um, materials. So the nipples, the nipples go in this. Let's place the lid. It has a vent Phillips also on this. And this is a cute little lid. I like it and it's easy to take it off. Like you have space over here so that you can hold it properly okay so this is have you have now filled all your things that are needed in the steamer now we'll turn on the plug here you need to press this in order to get this it's already someone has pressed it so it automatically has turned on but if this is off you just simply have to press this now you can see that the steaming has started. 
it takes roughly around 10 to 15 minutes to steam everything I'll show you how it uh, eventually processes do not touch it uh, while it is on running if you want to uh, stop it you just turn it off make sure it's out of reach of children because this is extremely hot put it on a surface a little higher where only adults can access this and if you have little children who are walking around make sure they do not touch it at any cost trust me it will create burns it's that hot okay you can see that it is steaming and you can see the drops that are dripping down and in the proper lighting you can also see some steam coming out from this uh, particular hole over here do not touch this it's very hot uh, there is a small hole and the steam comes out of it so now it's done the light has turned off it's automatic so once the steam is done it will turn off so I recommend you to wait for some time before uh, opening it because it's quite hot now let's open and see make sure you put it away as you can see the vapor I don't know if I'm able to capture but there's a lot of vapor that is coming out um, it's very very hot don't touch it immediately you can see droplets around can you see these droplets it, it, it's very hot so wait for some time before taking them out another important thing that I want to tell is once the steaming is done take out the things and the feeding bottle only whenever it is necessary don't take it all out at once and put it in some other place because again it will become unsterile so if you want the maximum sterile um, I'll just put it in here whenever Olive wants feeding I'll take out one feeding bottle at a time and feed her so that the rest of the feeding bottles and the materials are safe and sterile inside. Can you see all these water bubbles over here? It shows that it is completely steam like here. Can you see? Can you see this? It's completely steamed. So it's very very sterile if you let them be inside don't remove it unnecessarily only take it out if you want to feed your baby one bottle at a time thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you like it if you do think so please do hit the subscribe button hit the like button and the bell icon next to it i'll see you all in the next video until then stay safe stay home bye bye